I feel like I do have the tools and, of course, the education to keep pushing me. I mean, I was completely blown away when it came to the level of expertise from the instructors. I got all my knowledge and everything out here at Three Rivers, and that's really what kind of started it. I would say come here. Everybody's so supportive, and you're going to get the help that you need. And you're listening live from the Wyoming Center, Casper, Wyoming. This is the Women's National Turn uh, Tournament. Glad to have you along. We're in mountain time, dry air and high altitude. Hey, folks, Tim Hager and you and the Lady Raiders getting ready to do battle against the Mississippi Gulf Coast Bulldogs. This tournament got started yesterday. It has been a tournament of upsets thus far. March Madness has arrived. Uh, Coach East was the winners over Chattanooga. Trinity Valley to beat Monroe College in a tough game. Then the upsets began. Number 20, Eastern Arizona beat number 13, Pearl River, yesterday. Uh, another upset, number 23, North Dakota over Eastern Florida. That was a number 23, defeating a number 10. So we'll see what happens with this one. On paper, these two teams match up really, really well. Lady Raiders um, have won 12 games in a row. And the... Uh, Bulldogs have won, I believe, 17 of 18. They've won 11 in a row. Two teams peaking at the right time of the season, and they're here at the national tournament, and we're glad you're hanging out with us today. Uh, Three Rivers College wanted to give the people an option uh, for free. These games are being covered on ESPN+. Plus. That's a 6 or $7 monthly charge for those games. And uh, we thank Dr. Payne at Three Rivers for uh, giving us the option to go audio only here on YouTube so folks can at least listen in if they didn't want to get the streaming service. So thank you to him and the college for providing this and sending me out here. Uh, you ever been to Casper, Wyoming? Beautiful area, but it's a, uh, it's a logistical nightmare getting here. The, we had to go to Memphis, fly to Denver, and had a bus waiting for us to get us here. Our cheer squad is here. They flew in yesterday. They had a plane uh, ride get canceled. Had to wait a long time in the uh, airport. Finally got to Denver. Finally got picked up. They got to the hotel about midnight last night, but uh, we're all drinking Mountain Dew and, um, and uh, using a lot of chapstick right now. The air is really dry here, high altitude for sure. The Lady Raiders came in a day early to kind of get acclimated. Uh, they've had some pretty good practices. The first practice, the thin air did make a little bit of difference, uh, but they seem like they're acclimated and ready to go. Uh, they're young and athletic, and I'm old and fat, and uh, <laughs> my acclimation has been a little tougher but I think we're going to be able to squeeze through it. Looks like we're getting ready to introduce the starting lineups right now. We'll start with Mississippi Gulf Coast. They are the Bulldogs, and they're going to be starring Jashara Hunt, number one, Samara Fields, number two, Jemiah Evans, number three, Kristen McMillan, number 23, and Tatiana Buckley, number 24. Uh, for the Lady Raiders today, uh, starting will be – let me grab it right here – Number five, Amaya Johnson. Number 11, Lexi Weaver. Number 12, Leah Jackson. Number 13, Samari Taylor. And number 33, KT Kaylee Thompson. Uh, to kind of give you a visual, this is a huge arena. The National Rodeo Finals are here. It seats about 10,000. There's probably 500 people here at the moment. Uh, there was a big crowd here a while ago where Casper College just won, the hometown school. But right now, uh, a lot of empty seats, but... So that's usually what happens when you're in an arena that's way too big for what you're doing. But it's a great arena, though. It's a great floor. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, Casper, Wyoming, this tournament's been here, uh, been in Lubbock, Texas the last several years. It's going to be in Casper this year and next year, to my knowledge. Uh, the Raiders are going to be the home team. They're in their yellow uniforms, trimmed in black. Gulf Coast wears a navy blue trimmed in yellow, kind of University of Michigan feel to it. We'll tell you a little bit more about the uh, Bulldogs. They have a record of 23-4 and four on the season. They were 14-1 and one at home, 6-3 and three on the road, 3-0 and oh in neutral sites this year. As I said before, they've won 11 games in a row, including a, a big win over Northeast Mississippi Community College. Um, they're out of Region 23. 
And uh, they average 71 points a game. They give up 53 points a game. So you've got two of the top defensive teams in the nation squaring up in this match today. Uh, the Bulldogs give up 53 a game. The Raiders give up 53.2 a game. Both top ten in the nation defensively. I'm predicting today 60 points might win this ball game. Lady Raiders 27 and four on the season, 17 and one at the Live Sports Complex, nine and three on the road, one and zero oh in neutral sites. They have won 12 in a row. The Bulldogs have won 11 in a row. Someone's going to win, survive, and advance today. Somebody's going home. Looks like we're about ready to roll. From Casper, Wyoming, it is the national tournament NJCE, NJCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship. KT is ready to jump. Referees are counting numbers. We got five on five. I'm ready to get the party started, folks. Let the March Madness begin. They're introducing referees. Desert introducing everybody in the audience. Okay, everybody's been introduced. We all we're all friends and family. Let's roll. There we go. The ball is in the air. It is tipped off the referee's foot. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Take two. Hey, life's a rough draft. Let's do it again. We'll pretend that one didn't happen. KT tips it to Lexi Weaver. Let the games begin. Lady Raiders with the first possession. Samari Taylor out top. Samari Johnson right in front of us. We are right on the floor for this ball game. The media row is right on top of things. Here's a three-point attempt by the microwave. Amaya Johnson hits it. We're up three zip. That's a good way to get the party started. Number five, Amaya Johnson. Raiders steal. Here's Lexi Weaver up off the glass for two. 5-0. 5-0. Lady Raiders lead it. 35 seconds in the game. 2-2-1. Full court pressure. Ball's tipped out of there. Picked up by Gulf Coast. They finally get across the timeline. There's their first shot of the game. It's up. It's off the mark there by number one. Hunt. They get the offensive glass, and they slow it down. They're down five zip quicker than you can blink an eye. We are one minute into this one. Microwave hit a three. Lexi Weaver stole the ball, laid it in for two. There's a three-point attempt off the mark by Fields. Leah Jackson rebounds for the Lady Raiders over to Lexi Weaver. Baseline pass goes out of bounds, intended for KT. She zigs and the ball zagged. We'll give it back to Mississippi Gulf Coast. They're out of Perkinson, Mississippi. Play down in Region 23. That's a pretty competitive region. They've played some good competition. Here's the long baseball pass down to their post player, number 23, McMillan. They're going to give it to number one, Jashara Hunt. She's going to slow things down. They have four players in double figures. They play about six players. Their starting five is going to log a lot of minutes today. And I'm going to be real honest with you. At the uh, at altitude, uh, we're uh, about 5,000-plus feet up in the air. Above sea level, the air's a little thin. Teams with a long bench, teams with depth may have an advantage here. Samari Taylor checks out. Number 20, Maya Davidson will check in for the Lady Raiders. 8-13 left here in the first quarter of basketball action. Raiders with the basketball. Lexi Weaver bring it down. Bounce pass to KT. Goes with the right hand. They clear it out for her. Takes it up, misses. They're going to call KT with the charge. Spread the floor that time. Gave her a little room to roam. And number 23 for Mississippi uh, Gulf Coast, McMillan drew the charge. KT will take a seat. She'll be replaced by number 23, Layla Reese. Lady Raiders still in full court pressure. There's a long baseball pass down. Gulf Coast is going to get an easy two at that time. Number 20, Jemiah Evans puts them on the scoreboard. 5-2 ball game. Here's Reese. Picks it up. Mid-range jumper is good. Layla Reese from about the free throw line. Drops it in. 7-2. Lady Raiders the early lead. There's the long baseball pass again. That has been effective for Gulf Coast in breaking the pressure. 
Number 11 is snuck open there. Jacqueline Houston just checked in the ball game. She got it and took it strong to the basket, and she'll draw the foul. Now, when you're up here in the mountains, a little different basketball game than what we're used to in southeast Missouri. Like if you're Coach Cole McBroom and uh, Clark did, that's a little that's below sea level probably down the boot hill. We're up high here in the mountains. Beautiful area, just a long ways to get here. First free throw is up, and it's good. Seven threes are scored. Houston will shoot one more. Journey and Toto is going to be the next act here in this building. They told me they had a billiards tournament with like 100 pool tables on the floor a couple of days before the tournament. They put the floor down just a couple of days ago here. Lexi Weaver has the basketball for the Lady Raiders. The free throws were good. It's 7-4 ball game. Bounce pass into Maya Davidson. Back to Lexi on the baseline. Drives in, shoots, misses. Ball is knocked out of there. The microwave of Maya Johnson picks it up. Raiders will set it up again. Give and go to Reese. Turn around jumper, rattles around, and it falls. Reese with four quick points off the bench to give the Raiders a lift. Nine fours on score. Seven minutes left here in the first quarter. Just getting it cranked up from Casper, Wyoming. Lob pass in the paint. Ball is knocked out of there. Reese slides on the floor, gets it. They're going to say she slid out of bounds. Good hustle there by number 23, Layla Reese. Jasmine Davis, number three, will check in. Lexi Weaver, number 11, takes the seat. Davis, Johnson, Jackson, Reese, and Davidson on the floor right now for the Lady Raiders. Lob inside. Here's the shot by Gulf Coast. It's off the mark. Microwave will track it down to Jasmine Davis. She's on the point. Dribbles, hands off to Leah Jackson. Jackson dribbles in, takes it up, probably was fouled, no call. Ball's on the floor. Jackson gets it, gives it to Davidson. Up in the left hand for two. Good hustle by Leah Jackson. Dove on the floor in one motion, flipped it up to Maya Davidson, who took it up in the left hand off the glass. Raiders up 11-4. Reese steals the ball for the Lady Raiders. Two on two. Here's the microwave for three. Off the back of the rim, no good. Reese tracks down the rebound. Got a collision pile up there. Right in front of the Gulf Coast bench, Jasmine Davis picks it up, hands off to Davidson, drives in, charging foul. They're not calling squad except the charge today, folks. Davidson barreled in toward the basket. Could have been a block. Bang, bang, call. Goes Gulf Coast wave. Wave off the points. 11-4 is the score. Six minutes on the dot left here in the first quarter. From the Wyoming Center, the Ford Wyoming Center. Gulf Coast with the basketball right now. They were the national champs in 1973. There's some trivia for you. Bulldogs have the basketball now. Dribble in, in the paint. Shot is blocked by Samari Taylor. Called that foul. Three fouls now on three rivers, zero for the Bulldogs. And that will put them at the line, number 24, Tetiana Buckley. On the season, she averages 13.6 a game for the Bulldogs. Shot is up, and it is good. We'll shoot one more. That's her first point in the ball game. She is set. It's up. That one's good, too. With the free throws, our score is 11-6. Lady Raiders with the early lead. Substitutions now for Gulf Coast. Fields back in the ball game, number two. Bulldogs are coached by Hope, Hope Adams. It's her seventh season. They were 17-6 last year. She has an overall record of 98 and 65 there at Gulf Coast. Bramai Johnson in now for the Lady Raiders, number 22. She's going to draw the foul. They call the hand check foul. Be the first foul against Gulf Coast. Lady Raiders will inbound straight across from me here on the floor. 
KT back in now for Three Rivers. Here's Leah Jackson. Dribbles in with the right hand off the glass. Misses. Rebound by Gulf Coast. Again, they spread the floor. She went in. Could not get the ball to fall for there. Rattled around. Gulf Coast has it. They're down by five. Here's the shot. It's up and it's good. Now they're down by three. Give the points there to number two. Fields, her first bucket ball game. Lady Raiders lead it by three. Jasmine Davis hands off to Leah Jackson. Up, and that one goes. They ran the same play. She got it, dribbled, went one-on-one, turned the corner, went up, got that one to fall. Two points of the ball game now for Leah Jackson. Raiders back up 13-8. Coach Wiggs went right back to the same play where they spread the floor, gave her some room to go. When she got north and south, took it strong to the basket. There's a shot off the mark by Gulf Coast. Jasmine Davis rebounds to the Lady Raiders, pushes it ahead, across the timeline. Now to Jackson, pump fake, shoots it, misses. Samari Taylor keeps it alive, but it goes to Gulf Coast. Here's the long baseball pass again. They're going to step back and shoot the three, and it is good. Fields hits the three-pointer. It's a 13-11 ball game. I will give them credit. When they take it, they throw it long. Looks like a quarterback throwing it, and they've gotten some results from that. Here's by Maya Johnson. The pump fake misses, gets her own rebound, turns and lays it in. Way to follow your shot there, number 22. By Maya Johnson, shot it, missed it, followed the shot, got the rebound, took it up and laid it off the glass for two. Nifty play there by number 22. For Maya Johnson, Lady Raiders lead it 15-11. 3.30 left here in the first quarter. For those listening along on YouTube today, glad to have you along for the ride. Survive in advance. The winner moves on to play Shelton State. The loser books a, a bus ride home. There's the miss by Gulf Coast. They keep it alive. They'll take it out and set it up again. I like I- Here's their post player going to shoot the three. Uh-oh. Number 20, Jemiah Evans, six-foot sophomore, stepped out and pops the three. Lady Raiders up by one. It's a 15-14 ball game. Here's Johnson again. Out to Jackson. Leah dribbles in. One-on-one, takes it off the glass for two. Coach Wiggs likes that matchup. They spread the floor, let her take it one-on-one. Four points for her, 17-14. Lady Raiders lead it. Five players ready to come into the game for three rivers. Next dead ball situation. There's a shot off the mark. Gulf Coast gets the rebound, sticks it back in. On the miss, it was a long rebound, and number 24 got it and took it strong to the basket. That's Buckley. 17-16, 17-16, Raiders back up by one. 2.19 to go in the first quarter. Leah Jackson dribbles. She'll stop and shoot the three. It's good. Nothing but the bottom of the bucket. Leah Jackson drains the three-pointer. Give her seven points now. 2016's our score. 203 left here in the first quarter. There's the shot up. It's off the mark. Samari Taylor rips down the rebound for the Lady Raiders. Hands off to Davis. Again, players breathing hard. I'm sorry. We're 5,000 feet up right now. Lady Raiders ready to make some substitutions. They can't get a dead ball. Could have been a foul right there. No call. Jackson has it. Top of the key. Telling the shot clock for three rivers. Dribbles in. The runner is no good. Rebound by Gulf Coast. They take the ball. They go baseline with it. Players logging some minutes here. Things have slowed down a bit. Gulf Coast dribbles in. There's a nice shot there by number two. Fields, she got it, waited, took it baseline, laid it up off the glass. 20 to 18 is the score. Bramiah Johnson with it, number 22. Now to Davis on the baseline. Johnson gives a three-pointer a heave. It's off the mark. Rebound is picked up by Gulf Coast. They can take the lead on this possession. Down by two. We're under a minute here left in the first quarter. Ball stolen by KT. Hands off to Jackson. Pushes it ahead to KT. Off the two glass for two. Kaylee Thompson. They called the flop warning right there. No charge. Flop warning on Gulf Coast. Count the bucket. 22-18. Raiders by four. 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. About a five-second differential between the clock and 30-second shot clock. Long-distance three is off the mark. 
KT gets the rebound. They're going to slow it down. We can turn off the shot clock. 15 seconds left. Lady Raiders lead it by four. Slow it down. Play for the last shot. We're at 10. Leah Jackson at seven. Leah Jackson at six. Pass to KT at three. Three pointers good. KT drains the three at the buzzer. Lady Raiders lead it 25 18. Big time shot there by number 33, KT Kaylee Thompson. Wow, Lady Raiders needed that. We're going to take a timeout, folks. This is fun. 25 18. Lady Raiders lead it. Back in one minute. This is the Lady Raiders on YouTube. Hey, Steve Dennis, Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac out of Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Hey, 23 has come and gone, and 24 is going to be an exciting year. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, hey, you owe it to yourself to give us an opportunity. We've got a great selection of new Chevrolets, new Cadillacs, a great selection of pre-owned. So see them all at BaldwinChevy.com or come see us at Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, or give us a call 573-785-0893. Coltons, we know what's at stake. We put fun in everything we make at Coltons. We know what's at stake. Coltons, we know what's at stake. You love everything we make at Coltons. Stay cast and real. Everyone has a smile, and everyone has a story. The Bly family story is all about helping the community have a good, healthy smile. For three generations, the Blys have been practicing dentistry. They are always welcoming new patients. Just call 573-785-0111. When you come to the Dental Arts Group, you'll find the most advanced dental technology and techniques available. But more than that, you'll find a group of dentists who offer a relaxed atmosphere with a private, personal touch. Dental Arts Group, 2700 Canal Boulevard, PP Highway in Poplar Bluff. Back at the Ford Wyoming Center in Casper, Wyoming, after the first quarter of basketball action, Lady Raiders lead this one 25-18. These games are being covered by ESPN+. Plus. If you have that streaming service, you can watch this. Otherwise, you can stay with us here on YouTube. Uh, we've set up this audio stream. And when TV is involved, they change the timeouts around. We're accustomed to a one-minute timeout between quarters, but it looks like they're maybe doing a two-minute one. So uh, we'll uh, drop back here for just a second. KP hit the big three-pointer right at the buzzer at the end of the first quarter. She has five points. Lady Raiders led in scoring with uh, Leah Jackson with seven points. Lady Raiders got out to a quick 5-0 lead. Lead this one right now, 25-18. And I, I'm going to beat the proverbial dead horse, folks. Uh, those players logged a lot of minutes right there. They didn't have a dead ball to substitute. And uh, the thin air makes a difference. It just does. So we'll see how that plays out. Everybody looks to be accustomed and ready to roll right now. For the Lady Raiders, Reese Weaver, the microwave, Bramiah Johnson, and number 15, Kira Neal now in the ballgame for the Lady Raiders. Gulf Coast will get the ball first. They're going to uh, throw it in here at the half-court line right in front of me. I'm used to being up high on the media row at the uh, Live the Sports Complex. Being right back down on the floor is totally different. Shot clock didn't work. We're going to try it again. Nine fifty-seven, three seconds. Game clock started. Shot clock didn't. So they've made an adjustment on that. They're trying to. And they do. We start the second quarter. Gulf Coast with the basketball. They had seven points from number two, Samari Fields. She dribbles in, ball goes out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by Gulf Coast. Right in front of the Lady Raider bench. Now they're going to move it. They're going to inbounds underneath the basket. Now they're in front of uh, the three or cheer squad. They inbounds. Gulf Coast with it. Number 11. 
Houston. Now to number one, Jashara Jish- Hunt. Here's the shot by number 23. It's off the mark. Number 23, Christian McMillan. Rebound by Lexi Weaver. Quickly ahead, Laraders with it. Reese is open. Dribbles, hands off to Lexi Weaver. We'll set it up again. Neil sets out, picks, sets the screen. Here's Reese. Shoots in and out, no good. Gulf Coast comes down with the rebound. They got a two on one fast break. And there's the shot up, and it's good by number 20, Evan. 25 20. Lady Raiders with it. Number 21 now in the basketball game, Camille Brown. There's a shot by Lexi Weaver. It's up and it's good. Three point bucket by Lexi. Give her five points in the ballgame. 28 20. Lady Raiders lead it. Mentioning the cheer squad. They had a tough day of travel. It was about like an episode of uh, the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles yesterday. But they finally made it. Glad to have them here. Kayla Sparkman, cheer coach, does a great job with those guys, too. Here's the shot off the mark by number two. Fields, Lady Raiders scoop it up. Camille Brown with the rebound. Give it to Lexi. Coach Livingston, Coach Wiggs calls the play. Microwave over to Neal. Neal's open. Dribbles in. Takes it strong to the basket. She's going to draw the foul. Again, they opened up, cleared it out that time. Kara Neal took it strong to the basket, draws the foul. Whistle on the floor. It looks like number five. Saria Walker will enter the game now for Gulf Coast. Microwave number five checks out for three rivers. Samari Taylor will check in. Number two, Sydney Marshall now in the ballgame. Four, three rivers. Sydney out of Rossville, Tennessee. Neal's free throw is up, and it is good. Kier Neal, six-foot freshman from Marion, Arkansas, number 15. Here is the shot. It rattles around, and it's good. So substitution time. Neil hit both free throws. She'll take a seat, replaced by Samari Taylor. 30-20 is our score. 8-10 left here before halftime. Second quarter action from the national tournament. Casper, Wyoming, Lady Raiders with a 10-point lead. Pass goes out of bounds. Number five, Walker. Pass intended to Buckley. She zigged. The ball zagged out of bounds. Lady Raiders get it back. Weaver, top of the key. Bounce pass is picked off by number two, Fields. Fast break opportunity, two on two. They're going to pull it out of there. Gulf Coast will back out. Bulldogs will set it back up. Number five now, Syria Walker. It's point guard spot for the Bulldogs. Now to number 20, Evans takes to the basket, misses. Reese skies for the rebound for three rivers. Hands it off to Weaver. Again, doing research on today's game. Gulf Coast plays about six. Oh, they're going to call another charge. Are you kidding me? That was way away from the basketball. Charging foul is going to be called on number 21, Camille Brown. She'd already passed the ball and was 15 feet away from the ball. Bounces off the defender. Cheap call. We'll keep moving on. 7.09 to go. As I'm saying, Gulf Coast plays primarily by their big block there by number 21, Camille Brown. Plays about six players. And we'll see how the uh, altitude works. Lady Raiders are going to sub a lot today. There's another block by Marshall. Lady Raiders get it. Two block shots on that possession. Going to slow it down now. Lexi to Sydney Marshall. She dribbles baseline. Bounce pass into Samari Taylor. Now there was a foul. No call. Reese picks it up. Fade away jumper. Rattles around. No good. Loose ball is picked up by Gulf Coast. Officiating very inconsistent thus far. 
Gulf Coast of the basketball down by 10. 6.18 left here now before halftime. Cross court pass. Dribble in. Nice reverse shot there by number 24. Tatiana Buckley got up in the air, kind of changed directions, laid it off the glass. A little playground action there, a nifty play. That bucket give her six in the game. 30-22. Here's Marshall. Her shot is off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound by Gulf Coast. Ball's tipped out, stolen by Marshall, picked up by Taylor. Probably a foul there, no call. They're going to let them beat and bang, let them beat and bang on both ends. Just be consistent. Sometimes you get three refs who have never called a game together. Maybe it takes them a little while to get their rhythm as well. 5.29 left here before halftime. Lexi Weaver, spin move, took it up, and she will draw the foul. 30-22, to Lady Raiders lead it. Lexi Weaver will go to the foul line at the 5.25 mark. Foul's called on number 24, Tatiana Buckley. Two fouls for the Bulldogs here in the second quarter, one for three rivers. Weaver with five points in the ballgame right now. Shoot a couple of free throws. Substitution time. Gulf Coast will send in number 33, Tamai Yates. Most of this team is from the Mississippi area, Mississippi Gulf Coast out of Perkinson, Mississippi. Free throws good by Lexi Weaver. Lexi's from Louisville. But the uh, Gulf Coast team has a real Mississippi flavor. They've won 11 in a row. Their last loss was um, February the 5th. Both these teams, again, peaking at the right time of the season. Second free throw is off the mark. Lady Raiders lead at 31-22. Gulf Coast rebounds. Wearing their Michigan-inspired uniforms, navy blue and gold. There's a shot. It's off the mark. Neal crashes to the floor. Raiders get it back. It's the microwave. She goes up. She may have got fouled. No call there. My head is scratching. Lexi Weaver gets knocked down. The shot off the mark. Goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gulf Coast. Three players hit the floor on this end. We go the other direction. The microwave goes up, gets hacked, no call, back and forth. There's a joke there. I went to a fight and a hockey game broke out. That's an oldie but a goodie. Timeout's called on the four. 4.52 left before halftime. The Lady Raiders lead it 31-22. Let's throw it back to the studios for a 60-second timeout. Back in one minute with the Lady Raiders on YouTube. Home Service Oil is proud to announce the addition of a brand new tank wagon route in Poplar Bluff. For many years, Home Service Oil has specialized in bulk fuel delivery and can now reach farms and businesses in the area. Count on Home Service Oil for on-time deliveries to your location in Poplar Bluff and surrounding areas anytime you need it. Home Service Oil also distributes race fuels, oils, and lubricants online at hsoil.com. Home Service Oil. Service is our middle name. Call today, 573-776-1412. That's 573-776-1412. What's wrong, honey? Just found out my heart age is 62. (laughs) But you're only 55. I know. I took this test online, and it says my heart is 62. Is your heart older than you are? If so, you could be at risk for heart disease. Find out by taking Poplar Bluff Regional Medical Center's Heart Risk Assessment. It's fast, free, and online. Visit poplarbluffheart.com today. I'm calling the doctor right now, and you should take that test too. You love your truck, and Plaza Tire Service is here to help you make it even better. We've got wheels, leveling kits, and of course, the area's largest selection of light truck tires. With ATs and mud tires up to 35s and bigger, Plaza Tire Service has you covered. The pros at Plaza Tire Service can help you select a great combination that will work with your truck. Plus, with our Plaza Tire Service card or no credit needed financing, your upgrades can be easy on your budget. So take your truck from stock to spectacular with Plaza Tire Service. Back at the Ford Wyoming Center in Casper, Wyoming, Lady Raiders lead at 31-22. We're coming out of a media timeout right now. Both coaches talking with their players at the moment. 
Lady Raiders on the season 27 and 4. As we mentioned, uh, they defeated State Fair 79 66. Their last game was March 15th to win the Region 16 tournament. In that basketball game, number 12, Leah Jackson led all scores with 34 points. Lady Raiders on the season, top 10 nationwide in four different defensive categories. They're number one in the nation in blocks, number three in opponents' field goal percentage, holding their opponents to just 32.3%, number seven in steals nationwide, and number 10 in points per game at 53.2. Gulf Coast, uh, 53 a game. Two defensive teams, and it's kind of been a defensive battle. They're both pretty physical ball teams. 31-22 is our score. Uh, During halftime, we hope to get a stat sheet, and we'll break down the first half stats for you at halftime. Right now, coming out of the media timeout, 4.52 now before halftime, Lady Raiders will have the basketball. And we're doing the longer timeouts, courtesy of our friends at ESPN+. Plus. Uh, ESPN needs to sell as many commercials as they can, I guess. So uh, they take a two-minute break. That's TV stuff. We're back live action right now. Whistle away from the basketball. Foul's going to be called on number 11, Jacqueline Houston of Gulf Coast. She's talking with the official right now. Again, away from the basketball. That one official has called a couple of things away from the ball here. Quick inbounds to Jasmine Davis. Crossover dribble. Takes it to the basket. Goes up and she'll draw the foul as well. That foul is going to be called on number two, I believe. Yeah, foul on number two, Samari Fields. That's going to put Jasmine Davis at the line to shoot four three rivers. Davis on the season, averaging 7.9 points a game. Misses the first free throw. She'll get one more. Jasmine looking for her first points here in the ball game. She's a freshman out of Little Rock, Arkansas, 5'9 guard. Second one's off the mark. Rebound by Gulf Coast. Long pass. And the cross-court pass is going to go out of bounds. They used the long pass, and they whipped the cross-court this way. The uh, player was not there yet. Led her too much with the ball. The ball goes out of bounds. Lady Raiders catch a break there. They lead it 31-22. KT at the top of the key with it. Hands it off the microwave. She shoots the three. In and out, no good. KT ran, gets the rebound. They're going to call it jump ball right there. For those of you watching ESPN+, Plus, I'm assuming there's a camera somewhere. That shot that right in front of me. I thought it was in. It kind of rattled out. No good. Ball got on the floor. KT grabbed it. A Gulf Coast player grabbed it. Jump ball. Possession arrow points towards the Lady Raiders. Inbounds to Jasmine Davis. Picks up the basketball. Looks for some help. Gives it to Leah Jackson. She'll drive it in. Takes, misses the layup. Neal gets the rebound. Goes up, misses. Raiders had two good looks at it at that time. Could not get the ball to go down. Gulf Coach catches a break there. Then there's going to be a foul called on KT. Again, on the offensive possession, Jackson dribbled in. Couldn't get it to go. Neal followed up. The ball rattled around. Did not go down. Foul called on the other end. KT now with two fouls. Each team with four fouls here in the second quarter. KT will take a seat, replaced by number 23. Layla Reese. Gulf Coast inbound right in front of the Raider cheer squad. They lob it into number two, Fields. Into number 20, Evans. Goes into the left-hand scoop shot, misses. Neal gets the rebound to Davis. Jasmine goes to the jumper. It's good. Little runner from about nine feet away hits the bottom of the bucket. Davis' first points in the ballgame makes it 33-22. Lady Raiders lead by 11. 3-25 now before halftime. Gulf Coast with the basketball. Hunt, Jashara Hunt, guarded closely by the microwave. Now they double-team her. She dribbles out with the right hand. Ball goes out of bounds, and she stepped out of bounds right in front of Coach Wiggs and the Lady Raider bench. Give it back to Three Rivers as Samari Taylor checks in. Neal checks out. Neal had some good minutes there on the floor for Three Rivers, number 15. Because, again, 
This is a physical basketball game. Both these teams, rugged defensive squads. Pardon the grammar. Ain't nothing coming easy today. Raiders have it at the three-minute mark. Here's Davis to Jackson. They open it up for Jackson. She can go with the right hand. She gets the screen, steps back for the jumper, hits the rim. No good. Rebound there by number 23, McMillan. Ball stolen by the microwave. Number five, Amaya Johnson slipped in there and got the steal. Gives it to Jackson in traffic. Lays it up, and it's good. Changed hands. Went up with it for the left hand. Score it. Jackson with nine points in the ball game. 35-22. Lady Raiders lead it by 13. Gulf Coast with it. Lady Raiders playing man-to-man defense. Number 20 dribbles in. Guarded by Taylor. Taylor swats it out of there. Picked up by Amaya Johnson. Lady Raiders number one in the nation in blocks. Samari Taylor went up and slapped it out of there. Here's the shot by Davis. It's good. She hits another floater from about nine feet away. Timeout called by Gulf Coast. Lady Raiders lead it 37-22. 2.06 left before halftime. Coach Hope Adams has seen enough. She calls the timeout. This looks like it's going to be a 30-second timeout. Let's throw it back to Dustin at the Three Rivers Studios right now. Let's take a 30-second timeout. This is the Lady Raiders on YouTube. We won't be beat. Placid Tire Service is the low price leader on tires. And if you do manage to find a lower price on a comparable tire, we'll match it with our low price pledge. Stretch your dollars with outstanding deals from Placid Tire Service on tires for your car, van, truck, crossover, SUV, and more. Placid Tire Service has a huge selection of tires in stock and ready to install today. Plus, get six months deferred interest on purchases of $149 or more with your Placid Tire Service card. For the best deal on tires, see Placid Tire Service. And we're back at the Ford Wyoming Center, 206 now before halftime. There's a big sign out in front of the arena that we're 5,150 feet above sea level, 5150 for you Van Halen fans. The uh, album 5150 came out, I think, um, March 26, probably 1985, 86. There's some nostalgia for you Van Halen fans. And deep down, aren't we all Van Halen fans? Lady Raiders with it. Gulf Coast has it, rather. There's the turnaround jumper off the mark. Reese comes down with the rebound. The Lady Raiders lead it by 15. Chance to extend the lead for under two minutes before halftime. It's Reese to Jackson. Goes to the left hand in traffic. Off the glass. Misses. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gulf Coast. Number zero, Maya Barthelemy checks in the ball game for Gulf Coast. Lady Raiders look to inbounds underneath their own basket. Bramai Johnson with the basketball. Here's Lexi Weaver at top of the key. She'll back it out of there. Directs traffic. Now dribbles in. Oh, another charging foul. Wow. Do they get paid per charging? Are they working on a quota here? Foul called against Lexi Weaver. She dribbles to the basket. Three fouls for the Lady Raiders. Four for the Bulldogs. I'll shake that one off. We'll keep it moving. 123 now before halftime. Gulf Coast with it. They lob it into number 11, Houston. Shot is off the mark. Rebound by Reese. Lady Raiders have it. We'll go the other direction with it. Ball is intercepted by Houston for Gulf Coast. As we near the one minute mark here. Thought about the long distance three. They back it out of there. Bartholomew now to Houston. Shot is blocked by Taylor. There's going to be a foul called, I believe. Foul's called on Reese. As the player went in to dri- dribble it towards the basket, Taylor blocked the shot. There's a double team. They called the foul on the help helper on defense there, Layla Reese. It's going to put number 20 at the line for Gulf Coast. Misses the first free throw. Evans will shoot one more. She averages 12.5 a game for the Bulldogs. She'll get one more free throw. It's up and it's good. 37-23. Bulldogs have been stuck on the 22 mark for a long time. Nice job again by the Lady Raider defense. 
They have it now. It's Davis. Dribbles in off the glass. She misses. Gets a rebound. Dribbles it out of there. Was probably fouled. No call. We'll let him keep playing. Top of the key. Bramai Johnson dribbles in. Takes it to the basket strong, and she's going to draw the foul. Good play there by Davis. On the miss, got the rebound. Kept the ball alive. Treaded the line on the baseline. Dribbles out on the wing. And set the offense back up. Camille Brown, number 21, will check in. Bramaya Johnson that time took it strong to the basket. They kind of spread the floor, let her go one-on-one. She drew the foul. Five fouls down on the Bulldogs. It's going to put number 22 at the line. Just two points in the ballgame. Four, three rivers. Makes the free throw. Bramaya Johnson, she's a freshman out of Jonesboro, Arkansas. Uh, her minutes have increased throughout the season. Her productivity has increased throughout the season. Makes both free throws. Give her four points in the ball game. 38-23 is the score. Lady Raiders will drop back on defense as number two, Sydney Marshall, checks back in. About a four-second differential between the game clock and the 30-second shot clock right now. Shot clock's at 20. Gulf Coast with it. Hunt guarded by Marshall. Marshall jumps out on her. Sydney Marshall, stellar defensive player. It did the give and go. Ball tipped out of there. Eight on the shot clock. They take it low. Double team it. Kick it back out to number 23. There's the travel. Good defensive effort there by the Lady Raiders. They collapsed in when they dumped it in there on number 20, uh, Evans. When they kicked it back out, they took the extra step. Turn off the shot clock. 7.3 seconds left here in the second quarter. This is a 25-18 game after one. Lady Raiders have it. Ball is picked out of there. We're at two. Gulf Coast lets it fly at one, and that'll conclude the first half of basketball action. Second quarter, Lady Raiders outscore the Bulldogs. 14-5. to five. Doing some quick math here. 14-5 second quarter advantage for three rivers. They go to the locker room up 39-23. Wow, that's a fast-paced action here in the first half from Casper, Wyoming. Halftime score, 39-23. So what we hope to do now, we'll get a stat sheet here in a few moments, and we'll go through the first half stats for you and give you a preview of what's going on here in the tournament. We've seen some upsets thus far, and uh, this is the day number two, this interesting tournament, 24 seed tur- tournament. Seeds 1 through 8 get a first-round bye. Seeds 9 through 24 play day 1. And this is considered day 1. There's more games than you can squeeze in in the very first day. So this is still the first round. And we've seen the upsets in a couple different places thus far. We come out and watched a couple of games last night and saw two upsets while we were here. So it may be ripe for someone with the 11 seed, maybe make a run at the final four, maybe go all the way. So here we go right now. Halftime, 39-23, Lady Raiders lead it. We're going to throw it back to Dustin in our uh, studios back at Three Rivers College. We're going to play some commercials for you. When we come back, we'll have that stat sheet for you. Once again, we do appreciate you hanging out with us today here on YouTube from the National Tournament in Casper, Wyoming. Lady Raiders lead it, 39-23. Back in a few minutes, this is the Lady Raiders on YouTube. If someone was on the fence about coming to Three Rivers, um, I would tell them to do it. It was a lot easier here at Three Rivers to do everything like it wasn't complex or complicated. When I made my decision to come to Three Rivers for EMT school, I can say that's one of the best decisions I've made in my adult life. I feel like I do have the tools and of course the education to keep pushing me. I mean, I was completely blown away when it came to the level of expertise from the instructors. I got all my knowledge and everything out here at Three Rivers and that's really what kind of started it. I would say come here. Everybody's so supportive and you're gonna get the help that you need. We put fun in everything we make at Colton's. We know what's at stake. Colton's, we know what's at stake. You love everything we make at Colton's. Stay cast and we know what's at stake. Everyone has a smile and everyone has a story. 
The Bly family story is all about helping the community have a good, healthy smile. For three generations, the Blys have been practicing dentistry. They are always welcoming new patients. Just call 573-785-0111. When you come to the Dental Arts Group, you'll find the most advanced dental technology and techniques available. But more than that, you'll find a group of dentists who offer a relaxed atmosphere with a private, personal touch. Dental Arts Group, 2700 Canal Boulevard, PP Highway in Poplar Bluff. Home Service Oil is proud to announce the addition of a brand new tank wagon route in Poplar Bluff. For many years, Home Service Oil has specialized in bulk fuel delivery and can now reach farms and businesses in the area. Count on Home Service Oil for on-time deliveries to your location in Poplar Bluff and surrounding areas anytime you need it. Home Service Oil also distributes race fuels, oils, and lubricants online at hsoil.com. Home Service Oil. Service is our middle name. Call today, 573-776-1412. That's 573-776-1412. What's wrong, honey? Just found out my heart age is 62. (laughs) But you're only 55. I know. I took this test online, and it says my heart is 62. Is your heart older than you are? If so, you could be at risk for heart disease. Find out by taking Poplar Bluff Regional Medical Center's Heart Risk Assessment. It's fast, free, and online. Visit poplarbluffheart.com today. I'm calling the doctor right now, and you should take that test too. You love your truck, and Plaza Tire Service is here to help you make it even better. We've got wheels, leveling kits, and of course, the area's largest selection of light truck tires. With ATs and mud tires up to 35s and bigger, Plaza Tire Service has you covered. The pros at Plaza Tire Service can help you select a great combination that will work with your truck. Plus, with our Plaza Tire Service card or no credit needed financing, your upgrades can be easy on your budget. So take your truck from stock to spectacular with Plaza Tire Service. We won't be beat. Plaza Tire Service is the low price leader on tires. And if you do manage to find a lower price on a comparable tire, we'll match it with our low price pledge. Stretch your dollars with outstanding deals from Plaza Tire Service on tires for your car, van, truck, crossover, SUV, and more. Plaza Tire Service has a huge selection of tires in stock and ready to install today. Plus, get six months deferred interest on purchases of $149 or more with your Plaza Tire Service card. For the best deal on tires, see Plaza Tire Service. Price right now. Plaza Tire Service is the area's biggest selection of in-stock tires at the lowest price. While others are searching for tires to order, we'll get you fixed up with a great set of tires and back on the road in no time with our four tires, one hour guarantee. Plus, we make the purchase easy on your budget with our Plaza Tire Service card or no credit needed financing options. For the right tire at the right price right now, the choice is easy. That's Plaza Tire Service. Fresh their ingredients, then their menu, and now they're slicing their meats fresh. That means fresh sliced turkey, fresh sliced ham, and two new Deli Hero subs. Try the Titan Turkey and Grand Slam Ham, each piled high with double the cheese and more meat. Order your new Deli Hero sub with fresh sliced deli meats today. And be sure to try all the subs on the refreshed Subway Series menu. Subway's tastiest menu upgrade yet. Stop by Subway locations in Pop. Poplar Bluff, Donovan, and Piedmont today. Hey, Steve Dennis, Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac out of Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Hey, 23 has come and gone, and 24 is going to be an exciting year. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, hey, you owe it to yourself to give us an opportunity. We've got a great selection of new Chevrolets, new Cadillacs, a great selection of pre-owned. So see them all at BaldwinChevy.com, or come see us at Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, or give us a call, 573-785-0893. Back live at the Ford Wyoming Center in Casper, Wyoming, is the national tournament. Lady Raiders lead this one at halftime, 39-23. We'll run down some stats for you here real quick. Leading score, uh, scores for Mississippi Gulf Coast, uh, number two, Samari Field, seven points. Jemai Evans, number 20, with eight points. Lady Raiders out-rebounded the Bulldogs 22-14 in the first half. Gulf Coast was eight for 27 from the floor, two for seven from the three-point arc, and five for six. From the free throw line, we talked a lot about the, these both these teams being the defensive-oriented teams. 
Lady Raiders holding uh, their uh, opponent's field goal percentage to 32.3 for the season. Right now they got Gulf Coast at 29.6. For Three Rivers, offensively, Amaya Johnson uh, started the game with a big three-pointer. She has three points. Lexi Weaver, six points. Leah Jackson leads all scores with nine points. Uh, Kaylee Thompson, KT, with five points. Jasmine Davis with four. Kiara Neal, Maya Davison, each with two. For Maya Johnson, Layla Reese, each with four points. For the first half, Lady Raiders 15 for 34 from the floor, four for nine from the three-point arc, five for eight from the free-throw line. This is a 25-18 game after one. Lady Raiders outscored Gulf Coast 14-5 in the second quarter, and our score right now is 39-23. The largest lead of the game is right now the 16-point advantage for the uh, Lady Raiders. And, again, I'm beating the dead horse. Uh, I think the altitude has an effect. I think right there, Gulf Coast uh, looked a little winded as they ended that uh, uh, first half of action. They play six, seven players. Coach um, Adams is playing a little bit more of her bench today. I think they realize you've been, we've, both, we've been here a few days. We've kind of gotten acclimated to it maybe a little bit better. I don't know when Gulf Coast arrived here at Casper, but the uh, – the uh, terrain, the altitude, the air is so much different. I'm sure that it is in uh, Perkins in Mississippi and a lot different it is in southeast Missouri. So I think it plays a factor thus far. You've heard about that when teams go play the Denver Nuggets sometimes. The high altitude in Denver gives a home court advantage. Uh, we saw Casper College play in the game before this and just bushwhack a team out of Texas. And uh, so the longer you play, the more, you, more games you play, probably the easier it will get. But right now, it seems to be working for the Lady Raiders with their advantage. They lead it 39-23. We're going to run through our commercial list one more time. We'd like to thank our broadcast sponsors who've been with us all season long. Shout out to Home Service Oil, Subway, the Dental Arts Group, Baldwin Auto, the Popper Bluff Regional Medical Center, uh, Colton's, and Plaza Tire. They've been our broadcast sponsors all season long for the Raiders and Lady Raiders, and we're glad to have them here with us in the postseason. So we'll go back to the Three Rivers Broadcasting Studios where Dustin's running the board today. We'll do this commercial break, and when we come back, the second half is coming up next, folks. Stay close. This is the Lady Raiders on YouTube. From the beginning to the end, I've used every single piece of information that I've got. I mean, I was completely blown away when it came to the level of expertise from the instructors. Anytime I needed anything, they were more than happy to help me out, to go the extra mile, to help me understand what it is I was struggling with, and have some of the best teaching methods that I've ever experienced. It feels like you're at home here. I feel like that's not an experience I would have gotten somewhere else. Three Rivers College, success starts here. at stake. We put fun in everything we make at Colton's. We know what's at stake. Colton's, we know what's at stake. you love everything we make at Colton's. Steakhouse and Grill. Everyone has a smile and everyone has a story. The Bly family story is all about helping the community have a good, healthy smile. For three generations, the Blys have been practicing dentistry. They are always welcoming new patients. Just call 573-785-0111. When you come to the Dental Arts Group, you'll find the most advanced dental technology and techniques available. But more than that, you'll find a group of dentists who offer a relaxed atmosphere with a private, personal touch. Dental Arts Group. 2700 Canal Boulevard, PP Highway in Poplar Bluff. Home Service Oil is proud to announce the addition of a brand new tank wagon route in Poplar Bluff. For many years, Home Service Oil has specialized in bulk fuel delivery and can now reach farms and businesses in the area. Count on Home Service Oil for on-time deliveries to your location in Poplar Bluff and surrounding areas anytime you need it. Home Service Oil also distributes race fuels, oils, and lubricants online at hsoil.com. Home Service Oil. Service is our middle name. Call today, 573-776-1412. That's 573-776-1412. What's wrong, honey? Just found out my heart age is 62. <laughs> but you're only 55. I know. I took this test online, and it says my heart is 62. Is your heart older than you are? 
If so, you could be at risk for heart disease. Find out by taking Poplar Bluff Regional Medical Center's Heart Risk Assessment. It's fast, free, and online. Visit poplarbluffheart.com today. I'm calling the doctor right now, and you should take that test too. You love your truck, and Plaza Tire Service is here to help you make it even better. We've got wheels, leveling kits, and of course, the area's largest selection of light truck tires. With ATs and mud tires up to 35s and bigger, Plaza Tire Service has you covered. The pros at Plaza Tire Service can help you select a great combination that will work with your truck. Plus, with our Plaza Tire Service card or no credit needed financing, your upgrades can be easy on your budget. So take your truck from stock to spectacular with Plaza Tire Service. We won't be beat. Plaza Tire Service is the low price leader on tires. And if you do manage to find a lower price on the comparable tire, we'll match it with our low price pledge. Stretch your dollars with outstanding deals from Plaza Tire Service on tires for your car, van, truck, crossover, SUV, and more. Plaza Tire Service has a huge selection of tires in stock and ready to install today. Plus, get six months deferred interest on purchases of $149 or more with your Plaza Tire Service card. For the best deal on tires, see Plaza Tire Service. Yeah, yeah. See Plaza Tire Service for the right tire at the right price right now. Plaza Tire Service is the area's biggest selection of in-stock tires at the lowest price. While others are searching for tires to order, we'll get you fixed up with a great set of tires and back on the road in no time with our four tires, one hour guarantee. Plus, we make the purchase easy on your budget with our Plaza Tire Service card or no credit needed financing options. For the right tire at the right price right now, the choice is easy. That's Plaza Tire Service. Subway refreshed their ingredients, then their menu, and now they're slicing their meats fresh. That means fresh sliced turkey, fresh sliced ham, and two new Deli Hero subs. Try the Titan Turkey and Grand Slam Ham, each piled high with double the cheese and more meat. Order your new Deli Hero sub with fresh sliced deli meats today. And be sure to try all the subs on the refreshed Subway Series menu. Subway's tastiest menu upgrade yet. Stop by Subway Local. Locations in Poplar Bluff, Donovan, and Piedmont today. Hey, Steve Dennis, Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac out of Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Hey, 23 has come and gone, and 24 is going to be an exciting year. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, hey, you owe it to yourself to give us an opportunity. We've got a great selection of new Chevrolets, new Cadillacs, a great selection of pre-owned. So see them all at BaldwinChevy.com or come see us. That's Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, or give us a call 573-785-0893. And we're back at the Ford Wyoming Center for the second half of basketball action. Lady Raiders lead this one 39-23. Gulf Coast gets it first. They fling up the first shot. It's off the mark. Leah Jackson rebounds for the Lady Raiders. Pushes it ahead. Three on two fast break. KT finishes at the rim. Fast break bucket for the Lady Raiders. Gets the second half started. They lead it 41-23. Gulf Coast returns the favor with the long baseball pass. This, these gals should be trying out for the baseball team. They use that long pass effectively. Has a long throw down. Got it for the easy two. 41-25. Just getting it cranked up here in the second half. From Casper, Wyoming. Here's the shot by Leah Jackson. Rattles around. Off the mark. Rebound there by number 24, Buckley, for Gulf Coast. Uh, Gulf Coast used almost the entire time of halftime in the locker room. They didn't even get a chance to warm back up. They came out probably about a minute left at halftime. Coach Adams had a long chit-chat with them. There's the turnover. Gulf Coast picks up the errant pass across the timeline with it. Lady Raiders with a quick turnover there on offense. There's the shot off, off the glass for two. Fields Lays it up and lays it in. 41-27 is our score. Gulf Coast playing a little faster than they did in that second quarter. There's the long-distance three by Leah Jackson. She rips the cords on that one. 12 points for her now, 44-27. Coach Wiggs at the half line, half court line. Tell them to help out on defense. There's the return three by number two. She shoots the triple, Samari Fields. 12 points for her, 
44-30 is the score. Timeout is called on the floor. I'm listening in. Looks like a full timeout. We'll throw it back to the studios for a 60-second timeout. Back in a minute with the Lady Raiders on YouTube. Subway refreshed their ingredients, then their menu, and now they're slicing their meats fresh. That means fresh sliced turkey, fresh sliced ham, and two new Deli Hero subs. Try the Titan Turkey and Grand Slam Ham, each piled high with double the cheese and more meat. Order your new Deli Hero sub with fresh sliced deli meats today. And be sure to try all the subs on the refreshed Subway Series menu. Subway's tastiest menu upgrade yet. Stop by Subway Local. Locations in Poplar Bluff, Donovan, and Piedmont today. Cold turkeys, we know what's at stake. We put fun in everything we make at Cold turkeys, We know what's at stake. Cold turkeys, we know what's at stake. You love everything. Eight minutes to go here in the third quarter. We're in a timeout right now called by Three Rivers. They lead at 44-30. Just a reminder, the winner of this ballgame will play at 7.45 tomorrow night, Central Time, against uh, Shelton, I believe is the number six seed in the tournament. So the winner will play tomorrow night, uh, 6.45 Mountain Time, but at least 7.45 back in the Central Time Zone. Winner advances, the loser gets on the bus and goes home tomorrow. March Madness, survive and advance. You know that cliche. And again, on the timeout, it looks like they've added the media part too, which made it a little bit made it a little bit longer. We came in this morning, the home team, Casper College, uh, seated number 14. They won over Blinn, Texas, 72-61. Casper had a big crowd here today, big contingency of folks. Uh, earlier on, North Dakota defeated Eastern Florida at the upset, number 23, defeating the number 10, 54-46. The number 18 Dodge City team won over the number 15 team, East Georgia State, 75-57. Just a few of the upsets that have occurred here in the tournament. Okay, we're coming out of the timeout. Lady Raiders will have the basketball. Getting lots of my, my – as I – as the kids say, my phone's blowing up. Appreciate all the comments. A lot of folks watching right now. Uh, some folks said, hey, we're, we're watching it on ESPN+, Plus, but we're listening to uh, the YouTube, so we do appreciate you guys. Off the turnover, Gulf Coast intercepted the pass, took it down, missed the shot. Ball goes out of bounds. They'll have the ball underneath their own basket. Coach Hope Adams calls the play. One of my, my basketball coaches in school is named Coach Adams, too. Small world. Ball's tipped out of bounds. They're going to call the foul, I believe, on Jasmine Davis. They do. That's her first foul. 44-30 is the score, and that's going to put Gulf Coast at the line. And, again, right now we're kind of playing at a frantic type of pace, Gulf Coast being down by 14. But if you're the Raiders, you kind of want that transitional up and down, having a much deeper bench. You think that would play into Coach Wiggs' uh, game plan. They missed the first free throw. We'll shoot one more. Taking a moment for someone to tie their shoes on the floor. The trendy Nike sneakers have been uh, tied, and away we go. Second free throw. By number 24, Buckley is up, and it is good. 44-31. KT, Jasmine Davis, Maya Davidson, and Maya Johnson, Decaria, Leah Jackson on the floor right now. Jackson with it. Kicks it out. KT, the baseline jumper, hits the back of the rim. No good. Ball is knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Gulf Coast. Maya Davidson jumped up and tipped it to keep it alive, went off the uh, 
finger of a Gulf Coast player. Heads up play there by number 20, Maya Davidson, to keep it alive for the Lady Raiders. Look the inbounds. KT goes up with the left hand off the glass for two. Caught the lob, came down with it, went with the left hand. There's the baseball pass. Wow. That has worked for them today. Baseball pass quick to for the Bulldogs. Makes it 46-33, so they answer back quickly. Here's Jasmine Davis. Shoots. Ball hits the rim. Gets her own rebound. We'll do it again. Kicks it back out to Davis again. Dribbles in with the left hand. Here's KT. She's open. She shoots. Hits the rim. It's no good. Rebound by Gulf Coast, number 23, McMillan. Hands it off to Hunt. There's going to be a foul there on the microwave. A little reach around right here in front of us. Let's see. Uh, media table. Number 23 comes over. She'll get ready to throw it in. She and the referee standing right in front of me. Those of you watching on ESPN Plus and listening on the YouTube, I'll wave at you real quick. Hi, Mom. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. Here we go. Inbounds pass. Gulf Coast will set it up. Number one directs traffic to Sherry Hunt. Hand off to Houston, number 11. Nine on the shot clock for Gulf Coast. They lob it into the center. She goes baseline, misses. Good defense there by Davidson. As number 20, Evans went up with the miss. Lady Raiders been across the timeline. Jasmine Davis, crossover dribble, spin move, off the glass for two. Two of the Gulf Coast players got tied up and went down. Davis took advantage of it, spin move, and used the backboard. Nifty play there by number three, Jasmine Davis. Six points in the ballgame for her. 48-33, Lady Raiders back up by 15. There's a baseline move, draws the triple team. Layla Reese comes up with it for three rivers. Pushes it ahead. One on three, fast break. Stops, shoots, gets the shot blocked. Might have got fouled, no call. Baseball pass again. That is a weapon. They've got a bunch of points today off the baseball throw. Long distance throw. They got someone just running to the basket. They run under it and grab it. It looked like a wide receiver. Davidson with it. Hands off to number five, Maya Johnson. Here's Reese. She's open. She shoots. Misses. Rebound there by number 20, Evans. They move it ahead. Kick it out right in front of us here. Pump fake. Here's the shot. It's up and it's good. By number 24, Buckley. Buckley on the season average is 13.6. They've got this 11-point ball game, 48-37. We're about halfway through the third quarter from Casper, Wyoming. It's the national tournament. Reese hands it off to Davis. She dribbles in the paint. Back to Reese from the baseline. Goes past the defender. Shot blocked again. Number 20. Evans picks up the ball. Hands it off to Hunt. Number one for Gulf Coast. A little sloppy play right now here in the third quarter. She blows by the defender and scores. There's going to be a three-point play opportunity. Number one, Hunt got it in a good spot. Went right past the defense, went up and drew the foul. She's going to shoot a three-pointer the old-fashioned way. 48-39, Bulldogs sneaking back in this one a little bit. Another timeout is called on the floor right now. We're going to throw it back to the Steelers. We're going to listen here and see if it's going to be a one or two. It looks like it's going to be a full timeout. So we're going to throw it back to Dustin at the Three River Studios back in beautiful Popper Bluff, Missouri. We will take a 90-second timeout back in a minute and a half with the Lady Raiders on YouTube. You love your truck, and Plaza Tire Service is here to help you make it even better. We've got wheels, leveling kits, and of course, the area's largest selection of light truck tires. With ATs and mud tires up to 35s and bigger, Plaza Tire Service has you covered. The pros at Plaza Tire Service can help you select a great combination that will work with your truck. Plus, with our Plaza Tire Service card or no credit needed financing, your upgrades can be easy on your budget. So take your truck from stock to spectacular with Plaza Tire Service. Everyone has a smile and everyone has a story. The Bly family story is all about helping the community have a good, healthy smile. For three generations, the Blys have been practicing dentistry. 
They are always welcoming new patients. Just call 573-785-0111. When you come to the Dental Arts Group, you'll find the most advanced dental technology and techniques available. But more than that, you'll find a group of dentists who offer a relaxed atmosphere with a private, personal touch. Dental Arts Group, 2700 Canal Boulevard, PP Highway in Poplar Bluff. Home Service Oil is proud to announce the addition of a brand new tank wagon route in Poplar Bluff. For many years, Home Service Oil has specialized in bulk fuel delivery and can now reach farms and businesses in the area. Count on Home Service Oil for on-time deliveries to your location in Poplar Bluff and surrounding areas anytime you need it. Home Service Oil also distributes race fuels, oils, and lubricants online at hsoil.com. Home Service Oil. Service is our middle name. Call today, 573-776-1412. That's 573-776-1412. 48 Lady Raiders lead it. It is 435 left here in the third quarter. We're in a timeout right now. One of the basketball officials came over and told me the refs are looking back at the video monitor right now. About three minutes ago, around the 725 mark or so, two of the players from Gulf Coast, I thought their feet got tied up and they went down. I think the Raiders may have, KT may have scored a bucket uh, right around that point. They're going back to take a look at that. Why they're going back and looking at something that happened uh, three minutes ago, I do not know. So that one ref has went over and told both players or in the, both benches just to stay in the timeout. And uh, they're over, the other two officials are by the ESPN guys right now. And they re re round the uh, did a little rewind on the tape there, seeing what was going on. So while that is going on, just a reminder, the men's national tournament is going on right now in Hutchinson, Kansas. Uh, Moberly made it as, with an at-large bid. Well, they won the Region 16 tournament. They had to play Triton College out of Region 4, and Triton defeated them 84-81. But Moberly got a uh, at-large bid. Yesterday, we were uh, – Watching games, they were losing yesterday. I think they lost out yesterday. We're not I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think they lost out in Hutch, Kansas, yesterday. Uh, that tournament will end Saturday. This tournament will end Monday. Uh, the men run Monday through Saturday. The girls Tuesday through Monday. There will not be any games on Easter Sunday coming up this Sunday. So, I'll give you a little look at that. Uh, the Raiders uh, men's basketball team. Uh, their season finished on March 7th to mineral area by a score of 79-65 in the Region 16 tournament. So they've looked at the video. We're going to go back on the floor now. Uh, They're going to shoot the and one, 48-39, and back to the line, number one, uh, Hunt. When you get in these media timeouts, it's such a break, such a momentum kind of uh, squasher. Kind of got to get started again. So she makes the free throw. She gets the three-point play the old-fashioned way. It's three points in the ballgame now for Hunt. Lady Raiders have it. They've been outscored. There's the shot. It's off the mark. Outscored 17-9 to here in the third quarter. There's the block by KT from behind. Stellar defensive play there by number 33. There's Jackson. Takes it to the rim, and she's going to draw the foul. Again, Gulf Coast on a 17-9 run here in the third quarter. I think I said second quarter. I meant third quarter. It's going to put uh, Leah Jackson at the line, shoot a couple of free throws. Jackson, number 12, with 12 points in the ballgame. This is the first free throw. She'll shoot one more. She's on the Jacksonville, Arkansas. Region 16 Player of the Year this year, Leah Jackson. She is set for the second free throw. It's up, and it's good. 49-40. Nine-point lead for the Three Rivers. As we near the four-minute mark here in the third quarter, Gulf Coast with it. Lady Raiders playing man-to-man defense right now. Hunt. Hands off to number 20, Evans. Kicked out of there, picked it by Houston. Ten on the shot clock now for Gulf Coast. Number one, Hunt with it at four. Hunt at three. Passes it to the shot at one. Misses. Lexi Weaver comes up with it. Good defensive effort by the Lady Raiders. Lexi kicks it out. Ramaya Johnson stepped out of bounds. 
The heel of her right foot was on the black line right there. Tough break for Three Rivers. We'll get it back, though. 336, Gulf Coast with it. Lady Raiders again in the man-to-man. It's Johnson, Thompson, Leah Jackson, Kara Neal's back in, and Lexi Weaver. Neal goes up, blocks that shot. Rebound goes right to Gulf Coast, and they stick it right back in. Neal got some, uh, blocked it, but the follow-up shot went in. And they're going to call a foul on Lexi Weaver as she handed the ball off. I'll keep my comments to myself. 49-42. That charging foul had no effect on the play whatsoever. But they pay me to announce games, not to ref games. Lady Raiders lead by seven. Big possession right here for Mississippi Gulf Coast. And there's the steal by KT. Takes it down, guarded closely by number 11. Takes it up and in. Nice play there by KT over Jacqueline Houston. Looked like a foul there, no call, but gives the points to number 33. Nine points for her. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Jasmine Davis. Big steal and big shot there by number 33, KT. Number 23, Layla Reese. Number 13, Samari Taylor back in four. Three Rivers. 248 left here. In the third quarter, again, all you folks uh, tuning in on YouTube today, glad to have you along for the audio free of charge. There's a huge block by Jackson. Keeps it alive to Reese. Outlet pass to Davis. Big time play there by number 12. See why she's the Region 16 Player of the Year. She has the basketball. She stops. She shoots. Misses. Taylor gets the offensive glass for three rivers. Kicks it out to Davis. Picks up the dribble. Gives it to Jackson. Oh, the ball gets wedged in the rim and the backboard. That's a jump ball. Hey, I'll, I'll run and tip it out of there for you. A resounding five foot eight. Let me jump up and do it. Ball's wedged in there between the rim and the backboard. When that happens, it's a jump ball. May have a Gulf Coast player dealing with a little cramp issue right now. Referee hits it with the ball, didn't move it. They have the ball and moved there. It took three times, but that's all right. 221 left here in the third quarter. 51 42. Lady Raiders will get the basketball underneath their own goal, right in front of the ESPN cameraman, right in front of the uh, cheer squad. Inbounds. Here's the microwave. Jackson picks up the dribble into Samari Taylor. Dribbles the left hand. Scoop shot. It's good. Samari Taylor gets the shooter's roll. That time it rolled around the rim. Taylor gets it to go down. Her first point in the ball game. Big bucket there. 53-42. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. And they're going to call the hand foul right there on Amaya Johnson. Again, inconsistent. One ref's calling ticky-tack stuff. The other one's you got to knock their block off to get it. Gulf Coast inbounds right in front of me here at the media table. There's the shot off the glass. It's up and it's good by number one, Hunt. Just share a Hunt. She averages 11 points ball game from the point guard position. 53-44, Lady Raiders lead it. Jasmine Davis, crossover dribble, backs it up. Shoots, it's good. That one rolled around the rim and went down for Davis. Eight points in the ball game for her off the bench. 1.30 to go in the third quarter. Lady, Lady Raiders lead it by 11. It's Hunt again. Step back shot. That one's off the mark. That's a flop. But they didn't call it a flop. <laughs> they called a foul. Sorry, I got pulled into the ball game there for a moment. That was still a flop, though. Even you could see that on YouTube. You can hear that on the radio. That's a flop. Hunt gets the call on that when she'll go to the free throw line. Five fouls on the Lady Raiders here in the third quarter. One for the Bulldogs. I got to realize I'm really close to the floor. I better watch what I'm saying here. I'm used to being at the live sports complex where the, uh, the tech guy that I'm with up there, he uses a lot of profanity, but we're usually a long ways from the floor. 
But uh, I'm within earshot. I better be careful here. Free throws are good. Nine-point ball game. One seventeen to go here in the third quarter. 55-46. Three Rivers with the basketball. Ball is turned over. The ball is knocked away from Davis. Picked up by Gulf Coast. They can cut this to a six-point game on this possession. They've had the advantage here in the third quarter. Ball's tipped away. They're picked up by Jackson. Two-on-two fast break. She lays it up, misses. Reese comes down with a rebound. Turnaround jumper is a little bit short. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gulf Coast. Number one, Hunt wanted the foul that time for Gulf Coast. Lady Raiders will inbounds underneath their own basket. 48.8 left here in the third quarter. Inbounds. Here's the shot off the rim. Picked up and in by Layla Reese. Number 21, Camille Brown took the long shot, missed it. Reese, right place, right time. Got the offensive ball. Took it right back in. The offensive rebound in the bucket. Reese with eight points now. 57-46. Raiders lead it. 27 seconds left in the third quarter. 15 on the shot clock. Hunt to Fields. Shot is up. It's all no good. Davis gets the rebound for the Lady Raiders. 13 seconds left here in the third quarter. Let's see if we can get one before the third quarter ends. Here's Jackson at the eight. Second shot. She hits the three-point shot. Leah Jackson drains the three. Make it 60-46. Big-time shot there by Leah Jackson. Big-time shot, momentum flipper for the Lady Raiders. Back up by 14 points. Big-time shot by number 12, Leah Jackson. After three, 60-46, Lady Raiders lead it by 14. We'll be back in 90 seconds for the fourth quarter. Don't go anywhere. This is the Lady Raiders on YouTube. See Plaza Tire Service for the right tire at the right price right now. Placid Tire Service is the area's biggest selection of in-stock tires at the lowest price. While others are searching for tires to order, we'll get you fixed up with a great set of tires and back on the road in no time with our four tires, one hour guarantee. Plus, we make the purchase easy on your budget with our Plaza Tire Service card or no credit needed financing options. For the right tire at the right price right now, the choice is easy. That's Plaza Tire Service. We won't be beat. Placid Tire Service is the low price leader on tires. And if you do manage to find a lower price on the comparable tire, we'll match it with our low price pledge. Stretch your dollars with outstanding deals from Placid Tire Service on tires for your car, van, truck, crossover, SUV, and more. Placid Tire Service has a huge selection of tires in stock and ready to install today. Plus, get six months deferred interest on purchases of $149 or more with your Plaza Tire Service card. For the best deal on tires, see Plaza Tire Service. Hey, Steve Dennis, Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac out of Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Hey, 23 has come and gone, and 24 is going to be an exciting year. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, hey, you owe it to yourself to give us an opportunity. We've got a great selection of new Chevrolets, new Cadillacs, a great selection of pre-owned. So see them all at BaldwinChevy.com or come see us. That's Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, or give us a call, 573-785-0893. Fourth quarter is coming up in just a few seconds. Right now, it is a 60-46 game. At halftime, this was a 39-23 game. Gulf Coast outscored Three Rivers 23-21 in the third quarter. But uh, Leah Jackson hits a monster three-point shot at the buzzer, kind of flipped the momentum back towards Three Rivers. That shot, that was a uh, body language shot. You see that ball go in, you see Three Rivers come back to life. You've seen Gulf Coast body language droop just a bit. That shot was a big-time shot, and uh, we'll see what the fourth quarter holds. Uh, Leah Jackson, 16 points to lead all scorers right now. As we said earlier in this ballgame, the winner survive in advance. They play tomorrow night against the number six team, Shelton College. Uh, the loser will have to uh, head to the house. So uh, we are hoping it's Three Rivers College tomorrow night in action. Ten more minutes to go. A lot of basketball left in this one from the Ford Wyoming Center in the high altitude 
a Casper is a there's a, the Casper Mountain runs parallel to the city. Magnificent view. Our the view from our hotel is unbelievable. Snow capped mountains. It's snowed three different times since we've been here. It's a real dry atmosphere, so it doesn't accumulate a lot. Just kind of on windshields and stuff. But uh, we've seen some weather, and they had a big blizzard come in in Denver the day after we got here. Really delayed travel for some teams that were driving through Nebraska and driving through Kansas to get here. So we've heard a lot of weather stories as Jasmine Davis scoops up the steel there for Three Rivers, pushes it ahead. Davis, David's son, Camille Brown, Leah Jackson, and KT on the floor. KT with the ball, goes baseline, spins, lays it up, misses. Thought she, uh, she thought she was fouled there. No call. Fourth quarter action. Gulf Coast with it right now. Number 24, Buckley. Hands off number one, Hunt, point guard. She backs down there, guarded by Camille Brown. Ten on the shot clock. Across the double team. Eight on the shot clock. We're going to let it fly. Six. Missed badly. Ball goes out of bounds. Give it back to Three Rivers. Nice defensive effort there for Three Rivers. It's a 9.03 mark. Up by 14. Made Gulf Coast grind a lot of time off that clock and did not get any points to show for it. Davis crosses the, the uh, timeline, hands off to Jackson. Jackson's logged a lot of minutes in this game, too. Uh, I've been to practice with him the last few days. Another charging foul, of course. Three refs today. One of them is called Charges O Plenty, a plethora of charges. Back to going to practice the first day here. Uh, the, the big acclamation to the altitude for the Lady Raiders. They seem to work kind of past it. Coach Wiggs, Coach Livingston worked them hard in practice, gets the heart rate up to see where kind of where they're at cardiovascularly in this high altitude. Call charge there. There you go. Coach Adams not happy. She's gotten every call thus far. First one went against her. That was right in front of the bench there. Charging foul, give it back to Three Rivers. 8.30 left in the ballgame. A couple of the Raider Nation fans are here today. We got uh, six, seven fans made the long trek out here. Some of the Brooklyn Club Zig families here. Some Layla Reese family here. Lexi Weaver's got some family here that I know of. Ball is blocked and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gulf Coast. Again, getting here is about like the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. But uh, once you get here, it's a pretty cool place. Lady Raiders inbounds. Leah Jackson with it. Backs it out. Ten on the shot clock. Leah Jackson at eight. Dribbles in. Shot at six. Yeah, there's a charge. Every time that ref calls a charge. Every time. We'll break down the film later. There's probably been seven charges, and she's probably called six of them tonight. Referee's laughing as it goes by. He He knows I'm right. He knows I'm right. (laughs) <laughs> the ref, the other ref ran by and said, you're not wrong, man. That's so funny. Oh, my gosh. I got to watch what I'm saying. That is hilarious. The one ref is called Charges All Night. I mentioned to the other ref. He was within earshot. Yikes. Better draw upon my Southern Baptist background real quick here. Line change for Three Rivers. Taylor's back in. Bermaya Johnson's back in. Lexi Weaver, Layla Reese all back in. 749. Again, you got to have some fun with this stuff, folks. I used to work for a living. This is fun. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gulf Coast. Best part-time job in the United States of America. Broadcast guy for Three Rivers. 7.35 7.35 left in this one. Layla Reese. Now to Lexi at the top of the key. Lexi Weaver. Here's Johnson with the shot. Boom! How about that? Number 22, Bermaya Johnson drains the three-pointer. Lady Raiders up by 17. Big-time shot there by Bermaya. That was nothing but the bottom of the net. Splash down Johnson. 
Gulf Coast with it. That goes off her leg out of bounds. Give it back to Three Rivers. Leah Jackson's feeling it right now. Gave out a tribal scream right there, and it went out of bounds. Good defensive effort there by Three Rivers. Most of the Lady Raiders standing right now. They are in this ball game. The bench is into this ball game. Up by 17. Let's deliver another three. Let's put the dagger in them right here. Reese to Weaver for my Johnson again. Weaver at the top of the key. Coach Wicks calls the play. They switch it up. Give it to Jackson at 10. Jackson waits at 8. Leah Jackson at 6 on the shot clock. At 5. At 4. Jackson. That's the shot. Goes up. Not to the floor. No call. Gulf Coast has the advantage on the fast break. Four on three. They find the open man. Here's the shot. Off the rim. No good. Lexi Weaver rebounds. She'll slow it down. She realizes the clock right now is an ally of the Lady Raiders. 6.17 to go. By, the lead by 17. Handed off to Reese. Reese dribbles in. Draws the foul. Reese's grandparents here today. Grandma's clapping. She's in the ball game. 63-46. Reese at the line. She has, let's count them, eight points in the ball game thus far. Three fouls for three rivers, two for the Bulldogs as Reese goes to the line. Makes the first free throw. Reese averages 8.7 a game for the Lady Raiders. Freshman out of Cabot, Arkansas. Big-time track athlete in high school, big-time volleyball player as well. Makes both free throws. She's worked through a little bit of a knee injury this year, but she is healthy. Coach Wiggs put her on ice for a while, let that knee heal up. She's going to have some big minutes today. Ten points for Layla Reese. Six minutes in the ballgame. Gulf Coast with it. Nice shot there with the left hand by number 20, Jemiah Evans. Evans is a nice player. Evans has 14 in the game for Gulf Coast. Switched it up and used the left hand. Taylor was all over defensively. Three years with it. Johnson to Lexi. Camille Brown hands off to Layla Reese. Goes in. Dumps it to Taylor down low. Kick it back out. Here's the three-point shot. Hits the rim. Rattles around. No good. Rebound by Walker. 5.25 to go. They dump it back in to number 20, Evans. They'll try it again, and it works. Evans now with 16 in the ballgame. They're spreading the floor. She's posting up low. They're dumping it in, counting on her to go one-on-one. We're almost halfway now through the fourth quarter. 15-point ballgame. Lady Raiders lead it. Here's Lexi. Boss got her pocket picked. Two-on-one fast break. Fast break bucket is up, and it's good. Coach Adams calls the timeout. 65-52, Lady Raiders by 13. We'll lean in. Can't tell if it's a 30 or a full. We'll have to listen. Okay, let's take a one minute. No, no, I look like it's going to be a full timeout. We'll throw it back to Dustin in the studio's from the Three Rivers Broadcasting Center on the campus of Three Rivers College. Back to the uh, board. Let's take a 90-second timeout. Back in a minute and a half with the Lady Raiders on YouTube. See Placid Tire Service for the right tire at the right price right now. Placid Tire Service is the area's biggest selection of in-stock tires at the lowest price. While others are searching for tires to order, we'll get you fixed up with a great set of tires and back on the road in no time with our four tires, one hour guarantee. Plus, we make the purchase easy on your budget with our Placid Tire Service card or no credit needed financing options. For the right tire at the right price right now, the choice is easy. That's Placid Tire Service. 
Subway refreshed their ingredients, then their menu, and now they're slicing their meats fresh. That means fresh sliced turkey, fresh sliced ham, and two new Deli Hero subs. Try the Titan Turkey and Grand Slam Ham, each piled high with double the cheese and more meat. Order your new Deli Hero sub with fresh sliced deli meats today. And be sure to try all the subs on the refreshed Subway Series menu. Subway's tastiest menu upgrade yet. Stop by Subway locations in Poplar Bluff, Donovan, and Piedmont today. Everyone has a smile, and everyone has a story. The Bly family story is all about helping the community have a good, healthy smile. For three generations, the Blys have been practicing dentistry. They are always welcoming new patients. Just call 573-785-0111. When you come to the Dental Arts Group, you'll find the most advanced dental technology and techniques available. But more than that, you'll find a group of dentists who offer a relaxed atmosphere with a private, personal touch. Dental Arts Group, 2700 Canal Boulevard, PP Highway in Poplar Bluff. We're in a timeout right now. 4.49 left from the Ford Wyoming Center in a slobber knocker of a basketball game. Lady Raiders lead it 65-52 over a tough group out of uh, Mississippi Gulf Coast out of Perkinson, Mississippi. Again, the phone is blowing up. Lots of folks listening on the YouTube right now. If, you wanna, if you're watching the ESPN Plus, and I'm, I think our audio is just a little bit ahead of the video, you can pause me, and when uh, they catch up to that, you can make those two uh, kind of go together. Uh, the audio will be in sync with the video. Pause me for just a second. When I say like uh, 449 left in the ball game, when the video gets there, then unpause it, and we should be in sync just like Justin Timberlake. 449 to go in this one. KT with the basketball. Lady Raiders lead by 13. Like I said, there's a lot of basketball going this one. Ball's tipped out of bounds. We'll try it again. Got a chance to meet the SPN guys earlier in the week, and uh, they had a lot of questions about Three Rivers, heard a lot of good comments from them. Uh, they had heard a lot of good stuff about Three Rivers College and uh, looking forward to doing this game today. They thought this team had a real shot going places in this tournament, but you've got to win the first one. 19 on the shot clock. Jackson hands off to Davis. Sears grinding some time off that clock. Into KT, turns around, shoots, scores. Big shot there by number 33, KT. 11 points in the ball game for her. 67-52. 4.15 to go. Dumping into the post player at the free throw line. Shoots and scores. Jemiah Evans, 18 points for her. She's had a big time fourth quarter here. She's basically carried them offensively, 67-54. She scored 10 points here in the second half. KT with it again, drives in, slashes it to the basket. Scoop shot is off the mark. There's the baseball pass. Oh, there's the block from behind right there. They're going to call the foul on number 21. Baseball pass that time, number 21 for Three Rivers. Camille Brown got back, blocked the shot from behind, but they're going to call her for the foul. Four fouls here in the fourth quarter for Three Rivers, two for the Bulldogs. And that's going to put Evans back at the free throw line. Jemai Evans out of Gulfport, Mississippi, six foot sophomore, low post player, physically strong athlete. Misses the free throw. She'll get one more. She is set. Makes the second free throw. 12-point ball game. Full court pressure by Gulf Coast. Guarding all over the floor. They get it into Davis. Now they drop back into a man-to-man. 3.35 to go. Davis goes one-on-one. Backs it out of there. Hands off to KT. There we go to the basket. Nice left-handed shot there by number 21. Camille Brown spread that floor. She took it strong with the left hand to the basket. 
They dump it in Evans, guarded by KT. And Evans is a player now. She gets her scoop shot to go down, 69-57. KT almost has the ball scored out of her hands. Reese turns it over. Pass intended for number 21. She had her back to her. Lady Raiders got a little sloppy with it. 3.02 to go. Didn't have to be in any kind of hurry there. 12-point ball game. Just under three minutes left in this one. These two teams battling it out. Not quite a Texas death match, but quite a ball game. Here in the rectangled circle, there is a shot block by Three Rivers. Davis comes up with it. Ball is taken away from her. We'll go the other direction. Don't foul. Number two, the steal in the bucket. Fields. Back to 10-point ball game. Lady Raiders like to have this last minute over again. I call that foul right there. Long distance pass down to Reese. 2.17 to go. Physical action here. These sports entertainers putting on a good show out here today, playing hard. Here's Reese with it for three. Misses. Gulf Coast gets it. Long distance fast break pass again. We have a single digit ball game. Eight point ball game on the turnover that time. A Raiders shot did not get the rebound. They flipped the long pass down the Gulf Coast. Gulf Coast ain't going away, folks. They're sticking around in this one. Coach Wiggs calls a quick 30 second timeout. I think this is just going to be a 30 seconds. We'll keep it right here. One fifty-four left, 69-61. This was a 39-23 game at halftime. Gulf Coast outscored the Lady Raiders 23-21 in the third quarter. Winner advances in this tournament. Loser goes home. Winner will play, I believe, 7.45 tomorrow night, Central Standard Time. Man-to-man pressure all over the court is giving the Lady Raiders some problems. They get it into Lexi. That's cleared out of there. There's the foul right there. Number 24 went for the steal. Buckley commits the foul, but that's just three fouls for them. They have fouls to give, so we'll have to do it again. 151, probably a pretty uh, good strategic move, say that three times fast, by Coach Adams. They have fouls to give. Slow that clock down for them right now. Clock's working in favor of three hours. They can use a bucket right here. Eight-point ball game. Getting too close to the comfort. There's another foul right there. on Camille Brown gets knocked to the floor. Non-shooting situation. Each team now with four fouls. Leah Jackson will inbounds. 135 left in this one, 16 on shot clock. Weaver picks up the dribble. Now to Reese. Back around to Brown. She'll let she'll shoot the three. It goes. Camille Brown with the three. Hits the rim. Pops straight up. Comes right back down. Raiders get the break there. 72-61. Big time shot by number 21, Camille Brown. Raiders get it back on the turnover. Long distance pass to Leah Jackson, and she had stepped out of bounds. Again, the heel of her shoe was right on the black line. 12-point lead, Raiders, uh, that's a missed opportunity to grind some time off the clock. We're under a minute. Gulf Coast with it. Layla Reese tipped that ball out of there to KT. 48 seconds to go. Lexi's going to take her time with it. Now to Jackson, 42 seconds to go. Got to get it across the timeline. They do to Weaver. Now back to Jackson, 36 seconds, 15 on the shot clock. 30 seconds to go, nine on the shot clock. Jackson, ball is tipped away by number two. She goes down and shoots and misses, and there'll be a foul called right there. 
Fields got the steal, took it the other direction, but there's only 22 seconds left in the ball game. This is an 11-point Lady Raider lead, 72-61. Coach Riggs talking to Weaver and Leah Jackson right now. Number two at the line, Samari Fields. Just 14 points in the ball game for Gulf Coast. Shot is up and it's good. 72, 62. Second shot's up, misses. KT with a big rebound. Allen passed to Weaver. Under 20 seconds to go. There's a foul called right there by number two. No choice but to stop the clock. 16.2 seconds left. Sydney Marshall, number two, will check in for Leah Jackson. Heck of a game for Jackson in this one. Proving once again, I'll hit that hammer one more time and hit that nail. <laughs> She's hugging Jeff, the uh, physical uh, trainer down there, the athletic trainer. She's hugging him. He's done a great job keeping her healthy this year. Leah Jackson, heck of a season, Region 16 Player of the Year. Lexi Weaver makes the first free throw, seven points for Lexi. Second one rattles around. 73-62, 13 seconds to go. Gulf Coast running out of opportunities. They make the shot. 6.7 seconds into Lexi. She's going to try to dribble around, gets to Reese. We're at two seconds. Raider Mania is running wild, folks. One more day. Lady Raiders win it. Survive in advance. We are coming back tomorrow. Lady Raiders win today, 73-64. Big time win for this program. Traveled a long ways. You might as well stay a while. Lady Raiders with the big time win. Game number one in the national tournament, 73 64 over a tough game group from Mississippi Gulf Coast. Today we break their 11 game winning streak. Lady Raiders run their record to 28 and 4 on the season. Big time win today, 73 64. So let's uh, figure out what we're doing here. Everybody shaking hands with the cheerleaders, ball team. Good day to be a Raider, folks. Good day to be a Raider. We uh, will play tomorrow night. Three Rivers will take on Shelton, the number six team of the nation. The game is scheduled for a 745 tip-off central time, 645 mountain time. So if you're looking at a bracket and it says 645, that means we're in mountain time, not central standard time. So write this down, make a note, circle it on your calendar, call your grandparents and wake them up and tell them we're playing ball tomorrow night. 745 Central Standard Time as we march towards Final Four, march towards National Championship. Got to win the first one. Survive in advance, we did. Big win, 73-64. My name is Tim Hager. Thanks for joining us today on YouTube. Much appreciated. Thank you to Dustin back in the studios, the Three Rivers Broadcast Center. We'll be with us again tomorrow night. We want to thank our broadcast sponsors before we skedaddle out of here uh home service oil subway the dental arts group baldwin auto popper bluff regional medical center colton's and plaza tire are sponsors all season long and are going to get to sponsor at least one more game we continue to march forth folks 24 teams will be 16 tomorrow and uh, we're one of them thanks for hanging out with us today big time win today for the three of us lady raiders i think we've covered everything Again, I'm a bit discombobulated. I think it's the thin air. I need a Mountain Dew and some oxygen right now. We'll see you on YouTube tomorrow, folks. Again, thanks for listening.